Good afternoon. Welcome to Wednesday Word here at Free Methodist Church in Santa Barbara. My name is Diana Morales. I'm here to share a little bit about myself and how stewardship has worked in my life, how I've been given support, and how I've been able to support others. I was born and raised here in Santa Barbara. I am an only child. Currently, I am married. I have two children. One is 14 and one is 11. Early on in life, things were pretty easy. Uh, went to school, uh, went to local high school here. I was involved in dance, I was involved in cheerleading. I had sleepovers with my friends, went out with my friends. Things were just really nice and easy, the way they should be for young people. However, when I turned 21, I lost my mother. That was a really dark time for me. As I said, I am an only child. Uh, my relationship with my father at that time was not strong. And I felt very alone. How was I going to get, how was I going to move on? How was I going to take the next step? I didn't know. But little did I know that with the way that my mother raised me and all that she did for me, the teachings and the support that she gave me was what was going to get me through my dark times. And even though I had walked away from a lot at that time, my relationship with the Lord was not strong, but he was there. Today I look back and I can see it. I know he was there. He was protecting me. He was guiding me. He was loving me. After a few years had gone by from my mom's passing, I really got into my faith. I really jumped in. I went to service every week. I got into the Word. I got into His teachings. I got involved within the church. At that time, I was not attending Free Methodist, but I got involved in the church that I was with at that time, teaching young children, teaching te uh, high school teachers, uh, working as a wedding coordinator. I was just kind of involved. That was where my life was, was in the church. With my life and the teachings and the love that I found at that time was how I was able to be a better mom. Being a mom, being a parent for that matter, is one of the hardest jobs that we can have. Hands down, parents, you, re you deserve an applause. Parenting, there's no book on parenting. People write little books here and there, but parenting is all individualized. There is no two children that are the same. There are no two parents that are the same. And you have to really pray and trust in the Lord that he's going to guide you and support you on how I'm raising your kids. And I had to remember that. And to this day, I still need to remember that. There were times when my children and I, it was rough. It was hard. And as a parent, we take on a lot. We carry a lot. We hold that responsibility of the kids, not just in our heart, but on our shoulders and in our minds. We don't want to hurt them. We don't want anyone hurting them as well. We want to protect them from all, even from our own disappointments, our own sadness, our own faults. When times were hard, there were people there to support me. I'm very, very blessed to have those people in my life today still. They didn't judge me. They didn't look down on us. They didn't feel sorry for us. They just wanted to help us. They wanted to support us and love us. And I know, even though those people may not have the relationship with God that I have, I know that that was God supporting me. He was bringing them to me to help me, to help my children, to help my children know that life is good. And you don't have to have a lot in life. We need to not focus 
on the material things. We need, we need not focus on the social media platforms. We need not focus on celebrities, uh, the money. And that's hard here in Santa Barbara. You go down the 101 here a little bit, and you're right into Montecito. You go down here from the church down Cliff Drive, and you wind up right in Hope Ranch. We have some really, really beautiful neighborhoods here in Santa Barbara. But we shouldn't try to be all of that if that's not in our role. Our blueprint for life has already been made. That was made long before we were even born. God already knew where we were going to be standing today, long before I could even think about it. It's hard. It's hard not to get caught up and want more want the material, the needy things, the things that could make us look better on the outside. That's not what the Lord wants for us. The Lord wants us to be who we are, and that beauty will shine through us. With my children today, I tell them all the time, you don't need to be the most popular kid in class, and you don't need to be the one who gets the straight A's or the 4.25 GPA. I want people to know that you're a child of God. And what blesses my heart is when people tell me how polite and how kind my children are. That's what's important. The kindness and the love that we present to each other, whether it's family, friends, or strangers. We are Lord's children. He's brought us here, and he's helped us. He supports us. And he just asks that we do that in turn. I'm not saying we don't have bad days. I'm guilty of that for sure. Bad days? Oh, yes. Have them. I'm a parent. Just like all of you out there. We have bad days. We have good days. We have sad days. We have frustrating days. And that's okay. Because we're human. And that's life. But as long as we keep God as the focus here in our homes and in our hearts, you can have those days. I was having one the other day, just feeling very tired, feeling like I'm the only one who does everything around the house. I'm the only one who washes the dishes. I'm the only one who takes the trash out. But you know what? It's part of life. Get through it. Pray about it. Reflect on it. Maybe even take some time just to yourself, mediate through it. The Lord has given us all the tools that we need. Stewardship is part of our life. Whether we speak about it every day, whether we talk about it every day, whether we acknowledge it every day, it's there. Supporting and loving one another, being there to help others in need, are not a need. We don't need to say, "Hey, can I help? Can I help you?" Just do it. If you see somebody that you feel you want to help, just do it. If you feel you want to buy someone that cup of coffee, even though you know they can afford it, but you want to do that, do it. That's why we're here to love and support each other. Paying it forward is one of the biggest blessings in the world wish there was more people out there paying it for it. Helping those. Some people are in situations not by their fault, not by their choice. Some have a story that we may never know. We don't need to know that story. We just need to know that we're all brothers and sisters here in Christ. And the Lord has given us lots. The Lord has provided us with everything we need. We have food on our table, clothes on our back, a roof over our head, and the love of our family. Being where we are today, unfortunately with this pandemic, we've learned how to slow down and reflect on what we have. And that's what the Lord has asked us to do. God first. Put God as the base in your life, in your home, in your heart, and do his call. You will be rewarded, and you will be rewarded well in his kingdom.
that is our, that is where we want to be, is his kingdom. We don't know what tomorrow brings. We can't dwell on the past. Today is present. Today is the present. I'm so grateful for each and every day that I'm able to wake up. I thank the Lord every night as I lay my head on the pillow. I kiss my children good night every night. And I thank the Lord for blessing me to be a mom and a wife. My life is simple today. I fought a long time. I felt that I always needed to be the one up. I felt that I needed to have those nice things. I have learned, especially through my children, especially being a mom, especially being in a marriage that has had its up and downs, it's not about the outside, it's about the inside. I'm so thankful that I've had this time to share a little bit about my life. I hope and pray that you will be able to love yourself love one another and reach out and support someone if not within your family maybe your neighbor maybe take their trash bins out one day if you know a senior citizen today our seniors they're struggling it's a hard time for them a phone call not a text message but a phone call write a card send it in the mail Getting something in the mail, I don't know how many of you remember those days of getting something in the mail, a card, but those really brighten people's days. Put a smile on someone's face. I thank you. I pray for you. I would love to meet every one of you. If you have children, hug them. If you have a husband or a wife, spouse, a partner, hug them. And hug yourself for me. I just would love to give each and every one of you a hug. Thank you. Have a great day. God bless. Bye-bye. This has been Wednesday Word with the Free Methodist Church of Santa Barbara. We hope that you will join us for worship this week. Our home church video will be posted at 7 o'clock a.m. on our YouTube channel, and we will be meeting for worship under the tent in our upper parking lot at 9.30 a.m. We hope to see you there.